2026 has not arrived yet, but leaks about the Tesla Model 2 are already enough to make the EV market startled. Not because it is the cheapest, but because this might be Tesla's biggest bomb, a car focused on small but extremely practical upgrades. From wipers, control panels, to body panels and the electrical system, the things Tesla users have long wished would be improved. In this video, we will go straight into the most practical technical updates that turn the Model 2 from a budget EV into Tesla's strategic move for the coming decade. And before we begin, if you find this topic worth following, please subscribe to Auto Gear Shift so we can reach 15,679 subscribers and turn on notifications so you do not miss the moment. Model 2 officially launches Integrated Spray Wiper. The integrated wiper with spray jets on the blade of Model 2 is a small part, yet a clear leap from current Teslas. Instead of two or three nozzles at the bottom of the windshield that spray water upward, the new system uses a slim tube along the arm with micro jets placed exactly where the blade passes. In traditional systems, the pump can spray about 0.25 liters of fluid per minute, around one liter in four minutes, and much of that flies outside the field of view or runs off the body. By spraying directly on the blade, almost all the water stays in the wiping path. The surface is wetted more evenly, and dust, dried mud, or insects on the glass are cleared more effectively cutting water use by an estimated 20 to 30 percent. From a simple washer tweak, Model 2 goes straight to the core issue of visibility and safety. The system follows one simple rule. Better visibility means safer driving. When the windshield is blurred by rain or dirt, visibility drops and the risk of accidents climbs because poor visibility is linked to many crashes and seeing obstacles one or two seconds earlier can give the driver time to brake or change lanes. To do this, the wiper system does more than simply switch on when it rains. The car uses the front camera and a light sensor to read the windshield. If the image is blurred, if oncoming headlights are glaring, or if a streak lies in the driver's field of view, it automatically sprays water and increases wiping speed until the glass is clear again. Unlike the current Tesla auto wiper that mainly watches raindrops, Model 2 treats a dirty windshield as a broader problem. Dust, road salt, oil, and insects are all counted, and the algorithm reads daytime and nighttime scenes, headlight glare, and object contrast to decide whether to spray and how much. By using water at the right time and in the right place, drivers refill washer fluid less often and face fewer clogged nozzles. The water tube is integrated in the wiper arm, so if there is an issue, Checking and replacing the unit is quick and simple. This small detail shows that Model 2 is focused on everyday driving experience, not just on shrinking a Tesla and making it cheaper. Which part of this smart wiper upgrade matters most to you in real life? A. Saving washer fluid. B. Clearer visibility in bad weather. C. Fewer small maintenance issues. Or D. All of the above. Comment below semi-mechanical, semi-digital control panel. If we think of the driving experience as being inside a familiar room, the control panel is the part you touch every day. On Model 2, Tesla no longer follows everything on the screen direction, but chooses a half-mechanical, half-digital layout. Repetitive actions like adjusting climate temperature, fan speed, audio volume, rear defrost, or seat heating are handled by a row of physical buttons and dials within easy reach. You learn it once and afterward, operate by feel, without looking down at the display. The remaining parts are still Tesla's strength, the central screen. The interface on Model 2 is divided clearly into a few categories. Drive for everything related to driving, comfort for convenience adjustments, energy for consumption and charging, and settings for deeper configuration. This layout helps users immediately know where to find what they need instead of navigating through multiple menu layers. More importantly, during software updates, Tesla keeps the main layout consistent, avoiding the confusion of waking up to an update that moves virtual buttons around. Compared to the current Model 3, Model Y, 
or Model S, the difference is clear. On those models, almost everything must be done on the touchscreen. Younger or tech-savvy people may find that fun, but for middle-aged users, searching for controls on a screen while driving can feel overwhelming. Taking your eyes off the road for even a few seconds to press the wrong area, then looking back up, is enough to miss an unexpected situation. With Model 2, someone around age 45 or older can get in, sit down, and understand the main controls within five minutes. While driving, they only need to reach for a dial similar to the ones on traditional cars they have used for decades without staring at the screen. The sense of safety, friendliness, and ease increases significantly. This is why the semi-mechanical, semi-digital control panel could become one of the silent bombshells of Model 2, making it noticeably different from previous Teslas, no longer just for gadget lovers but truly accessible to all ages. Easy to replace modular body and exterior trims. When talking about ownership cost, body damage and small parking scrapes are what worry many people the most. In the United States, a dent or scratch on a bumper can easily raise the bill from about $500 to $1,500 if repainting or replacing a large section is required. With Model 2, Tesla intentionally goes a different direction by dividing the front and rear bumpers, side panels, and door corner trims into independent modules. Each module is held by a few standard screws or clips, and removal takes only minutes, instead of leaving the car at the shop for a day. In terms of materials, these trims can use engineering plastics or composite materials that cost 20 to 40% less than large metal panels but the surface is still painted identically to the body. This means that replacing a small module costs far less in parts and paint than repainting an entire bumper. Internally, many parts are shared with other Tesla models, helping Tesla optimize inventory and reduce component pricing. Instead of producing 10 different trim types, they only need a few that fit multiple models. Compared with the current Model 3 or Model Y, the difference is obvious. On those models, many body sections are still large, solid pieces, so even a scratch on a corner can force the workshop to refinish a wide area to avoid color mismatch that easily pushes the bill past $1,000 for what seemed like a small scrape. The wait time for official parts can also be weeks, depending on the region. On Model 2, the story becomes far more practical. Park in a crowded lot, get lightly scraped, and you only replace a small module costing a few hundred dollars instead of a full bumper costing a thousand. For people with moderate income, that difference is significant because two or three scrapes over a few years can add up to thousands saved. Thanks to this, Model 2 feels like a Tesla made to be used daily instead of something you must protect like a display piece. Owners stress less about scratches and confidently use the car as a real transportation tool not a fragile tech item. Low failure electrical and auxiliary system. If the battery and motor are the heart of Model 2, then the auxiliary electrical system is the nervous system that handles everything else. Lights, windows, seats, fans, locks, speakers. On many cars today, not only Tesla, about 30 to 40% of warranty claims come from these small components. Windows that sometimes work, fans that make noise, interior lights that flicker. A major cause is complex electrical architecture, too many wires and connectors, with five to six kilometers of wiring per car being common. With Model 2, Tesla aims for a next-generation low-voltage architecture, reducing hundreds of meters of wiring and dozens of connectors compared with traditional hybrid systems. Light clusters, windows, seats, and fans are grouped by zones and connected to standardized control modules. Each module uses the same connector type and communication style, so when an issue occurs, technicians only check a few main points and replace one module rather than tracing a thick wiring harness. The auxiliary power management software is also adjusted to prioritize durability. Instead of letting components run near their maximum limits, the system auto-limits current and heat for example, using only 70 to 80% of the real capability of seat motors or fans under normal conditions. This way, after 10 years, 
Components that usually fail like window switches, small motors, or interior lights have a better chance of surviving, reducing the likelihood of repair visits caused by small issues. Compared with current Tesla models like Model 3 or Model Y, which are modern but still close to traditional electrical architecture, Model 2 expresses a clearer philosophy. Invest early in cleaning up wiring and standardizing modules to ensure more than 10 years with fewer small failures. For busy users, especially older ones with limited income, this means fewer days off work to visit the service center and fewer annoying invoices for $100 or $200 repairs. They can see Model 2 as a low-hassle Tesla to own long-term, mainly taking care of tires, brakes, and washer fluid rather than a high-tech device that is cool but often finicky. Model 2 may look simple on the surface, but every upgrade you have seen today shows why it could become Tesla's true bombshell for the next decade. If you want to follow how this story unfolds, stay tuned and subscribe to Auto Gear Shift for the next chapters.